So I recently had to take my Model 3 to the shop and they gave me this as the loaner car. Needless to say, I wasn't happy, so I complained and got this. So, while my Model 3 is in the shop, they gave me a Tesla Model X 100D loaner. And I figured I'd just give a quick little Model 3 owner view of a Model X. So the first cool thing is, well, this isn't cool, but you get a key. And with the key in your pocket, all you have to do is walk up to the car and it'll unlock and the driver's side door will open. Now, because I walked right in front of it, it didn't open all the way. But if, oh, there we go. Now it's opening more. Now the bad thing about this is if you were parked on the side and a, a car was driving by as you walked up. So I think if I owned this car, I would turn this off. But it is a cool feature nonetheless. And if we come in, all I have to do, foot on the brake and this door will close. You can see the door closed. Now when I first got into the car, I was trying to adjust the the mirrors and in a model 3 all you do is uh, you use these two wheels on the steering wheel so i went to the settings here and i looked through all of these and i couldn't find it and that's probably just because i'm too used to a model 3 because like every other car there is it's on the door another big difference about the model 3 and model x is there's a lot more things on the steering wheel so you can like um, skip tracks with this, whereas in the Model 3, you just push this thing to the side. Um, and then there is voice control here, whereas the Model 3, you just push down on that. And I have no idea what this is. It's probably for the display here. And that's another big difference. The Model 3 does not have this display here. Everything's just in the center. But for this car, the center is just for maps and settings and everything. And it's also a vertical layout. Another big difference are the doors. Now the Model X, the back doors are amazing. They're the Falcon wing doors. And all you have to do is take the key, double click the sides, and they open up. And that is just so cool. And if we sit back here, it's a nice comfortable chair. Um, we just close the door. pretty comfortable and the roof is ceiling all right the roof is glass uh tinted glass so it doesn't get too hot and i don't feel like i'm sitting too high or too low there's plenty of leg room for the middle passenger they do have this in the middle uh but there's a little bit of a cutout so it's not too bad and because it's an electric car you have a flat middle which helps out a lot Another nice feature is that the trunk is power liftgate. So I just double tap on the back of the car, of the key, which is like a car. And you have a really spacious trunk. This is the five seat configuration. And you actually have storage under here. You can see my backpack there. And because it's a five seat, you also get storage under here, although it's not as big. With the seats folded down, you get even more space. So, someone could actually lay flat down. So this is me laying flat down, and I still have plenty of space. And if you look up, you see yourself. Another cool thing is if you got all your doors open, or right now I only have the driver's side door open, just click on close all, and it will close everything. All right, now let's go take it for a drive. One thing that I noticed is because of this giant windshield, the sun actually comes out from above. 
which kind of blocks my view sometimes. And also there's a lot of rattling going on in the back. What you do is you double pull on this stock here and it'll be on autopilot. So because this car has the full self-driving package, it also changes lanes. So let's try that out. See, there's cars in front of me, there's no car behind me. And I just turn on the blinker and it immediately starts changing lanes. I'm not touching it. Look, I'm in the new Because this lane is moving slower, it even tells me to confirm to change lanes. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. No hands. Boom. Done. All right, so that's it for driving impressions. Most of it was just me messing around with full self-driving because honestly, it drives like a Tesla, except it's bigger. So overall, did I enjoy the Model X? I sure as heck did. And if I had the money, I would definitely buy it. As for full self-driving, I don't know if the technology is there yet, so I would hold off on that. Hope you enjoyed the video.